Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue to go over the reference materials. We did some mirages last time. This went a little too far there. And it looks like today is our second and last day of mirage entries. So with that, the Mirage F1. Titled the Salt Mirage F1, Spanish Air Force designation C.14. Type single seat multi-mission fighter and attack aircraft. Program, Mirage F-1 prototype flew for the first time on 23rd of December 1966 and was followed by three pre-series aircraft. The primary role of the single-seat Mirage F-1C production version, to which the detailed description applies, is that of an all-weather interception at any altitude. See me. It is equally suitable for visual ground attack missions, carrying a variety of external loads beneath the wings and fuselage. Design features, high-mounted, swept, tapered anhedral wings with extended cord on outer two-thirds of wing. Optional refueling probe on upper surface of nose cone. All-moving, mid-mounted, swept, tapered tailplane. Large, swept, single-spar fin. Structure, the wing is an all-metal, two-spar torsion box structure. Trailing edge control surfaces of honeycomb sandwich construction with carbon fiber aileron skin. The fuselage is a conventional all-metal semi monoc structure. Titanium alloy is used for landing gear trunnions, engine firewall, and certain other major structures. High tensile steel wing attachment points. Landing gear, retractable tricycle type by Messier Bugatti. Hydraulic retraction, nose unit rearward, main units upward into rear of intake trunk bearings. Twin wheels on each unit, Messier Bugatti brakes, and anti-skid units. Brake parachute and bullet fairing at base of rudder. Power Plat 1's Nekma ATAR 9K50 turbojet rated at 70.6 kN or 15,873 pounds force with afterburning. Fuel in integral tanks and wings, combined capacity 375 liters and 99 US gallons or 82.5 Imperial gallons, and three main tanks, and one inverted flight supply tank, combined capacity 3,925 liters or 1,037 U.S. gallons, or 863.5 imperial gallons in fuselage. Total internal fuel capacity, 4,300 liters, or 1,136 U.S. gallons, or 946 imperial gallons. Provision of two jettisonable auxiliary fuel tanks, each 1,200 liters, or 317 U.S. gallons, or 264 imperial gallons, to be carried on inboard wing pylons, plus a single tank of 2200 liters or 581 US gallons or 484 imperial gallons capacity on the under fuselage station. Non retractable but movable optional flight refueling probe on starboard side of nose. Accommodation SEM Martin Baker F1 RM4 ejection seat for pilot under rearward canopy SEM Martin Baker F10M rocket seat in the latest F1Cs and in F1E and F1CR two Mark 10 seats with inner seat sequence system in F1P no delay through the canopy escape system avionics Thompson CSF Serrano for fire control radar and nose LMT tax scan LMT NR AI for AIFF Remote Setting Interception System, 3-Axis Generator, Central Air Data Computer, SFIM, Spherical Indicator with ILS Pointers, Sextant Avionic Type 63 Navigation Indicator, SFENA 505 Autopilot, and CSF Head Up Display with Wide Field of View Double Converter. Standard equipment on F1E includes the Sega Ulysses 47 INS, the Salt Electronic 182 Central Digital Computer for Nav Attack Computations, THC8F VE120C CRT Head Up Display, Sextant Avionic Air Data Computer, and Digital Armament and Nav Control Packs. Armament Standard installed armament of two 30mm DEFA 553 cannons with 135 rounds per gun, mounted in lower central fuselage. Maximum theoretical external combat load 6,300 kilograms or 13,890 pounds, comprising 2,100 kilogram or 4,630 pounds on centerline pylon, 1,300 kilograms or 2,666 pounds on each inner wing pylon, 550 kilograms or 1,213 pounds on each outer wing pylon, and 150 kilograms or 331 pounds on each wing tip air-to-air -air missile rail 
suitable for a Matro 550 Magic or AM9 Sidewinder, and operational load, or sorry, AM 100 kilograms or 220 pounds of chaff or flare dispensers on each fuselage shoulder position. Practical max operational load is 4,000 kilograms or 8,818 pounds. Externally mounted weapons for interception roll include Matra Super 530 air-to-air -air missiles under inboard wing pylons. For ground attack, typical loads may include one Armat anti-radiation missile, one AM-39 Exocet anti-ship missile, or up to 14 250 kilogram bombs, 30 anti-runway bombs, or 144 Thompson brain rockets. Dimensions external for the F1C, wingspan without missiles, 8.4 meters or 27 feet 6 and 3 quarter inches, over magic missiles, approximately 9.32 meters or 30 feet 6 and 3 quarter inches. Length overall for the F1C is 15.23 meters or 49 feet and 11 and 3 quarter inches. Height overall 4.5 meters or 14 feet 9 inches. Areas, wings, gross, 25 meters squared or 269.1 square feet. Weights and loadings for the F1C. Empty weight is 7,400 kilograms or 16,314 pounds. Takeoff weight, clean, 10,900 kilograms or 24,030 pounds. Max takeoff weight, 16,200 kilograms or 35,715 pounds. Performance, max level speed at high altitude, Mach 2.2. At low altitude, Mach 1.2 or 800 knots or 1,480 kilometers per hour or 920 miles per hour. EAS. Max rate of climb at sea level with afterburning 12,780 meters per minute or 41,930 feet per minute. Service ceiling 20,000 meters or 65,600 feet. Stabilized supersonic ceiling 16,000 meters or 52,500 feet. Length 15.23 meters, height 4.5 meters, wingspan 8.4 meters, max takeoff weight 16,200 kilograms, max level speed and knots at low level. One, er, no, that might actually be, uh, yeah, I, I think that's actually the max speed this time because I've seen in the past where they just give this speed as the low level speed, uh, but 1,266 knots, service ceiling 20,000 meters, takeoff run 600 meters, landing run 670 meters, max rate of climb 12,780 meters per minute. Once again, we do not have videos, but as you can see here, it actually doesn't use the full Delta wing like um, the other French Mirage designs, which makes it kind of unique because I think we'll see, yeah, the Mirage 3 is a full Delta, the 5 is a Delta, the 2000 is a Delta. So the F1 is kind of an odd child in that regard. Otherwise, it's the same. You can kind of see how the two engines are slapped on uh, both sides of the fuselage, or rather the two air intakes are on both sides of the fuselage and they come back to a center line single engine, which is in line with all the others. But yeah, so makes it a little bit of a unique fighter, at least for the French in that regard. And I don't think we got to see too much of this. Maybe we saw it a bit in Egypt, but, and then in some of the like weird France versus UK missions, but. Yeah, it was a decent kind of a multi-role strike fighter for its time. And I think that is where we're going to, where we're going to leave off because we don't have many videos. And next time we'll finish off the Mirage series aircraft that are featured in this game with, uh, what is that, the 5? No, the Mirage 3, so the oldest of the ones in the game, I do believe. So with that... Oh. <laughs> Almost left it on the wrong one there. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time. And stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.